the Greater Cleveland Volunteers hosted their annual Pickle Fest here in downtown Cleveland, and it couldn't have been more delightful. Here's CB20's Alex McTurna with the story. Now in its fifth year, Pickle Fest is one of the largest fundraising events hosted by the Greater Cleveland Volunteers, who provide volunteer work for various events and nonprofits across Northeast Ohio. One is we want to promote volunteerism in the community and encourage people to give their time to volunteer. But secondly, it's our biggest fundraiser of the year and helps us raise money for our programs and services to get volunteers engaged in helping. We have more than 60 or 70, I think, this year where we're sending volunteers out just to special events. And then we also have about 100 nonprofits that we send volunteers to regularly to help throughout the year. Um, it's just so great to have such a wonderful support from the community. With a record turnout and featuring nearly 70 vendors this year, attendees gathered from across Ohio and beyond to enjoy a day of celebrating everyone's favorite side dish. Just a great, I don't know, it's a great little side dish. Everybody loves it. Yeah, like the same thing. Everybody loves pickles, right? <laughs> when I was in seventh grade, I was not a good student, and my mom asked, what can we get you to pass? I said, a big jar of pickles from BJ's. <laughs> I passed. I mean, the vinegar is a little bit much sometimes, but I do like it. You know, when you run, then it reduces your cramps, so that's pretty good. Finally, I caught up with one of the vendors for this year's Pickle Fest, Randy's Pickles, to learn more about the local business and what they do different compared to large suppliers of pickles. Our original owner, Andrew, who is also referred to as Randy, um, he had started it, he actually went through a really bad breakup, and during the breakup, he went to the grocery store to find a comfort food, and pickles were his comfort food. And when he was there, he was looking at everything on the shelf, and he was not happy about what his selections were. He was really concerned about how chem chemically everything was, and he's like, I bet I can do this better. So he went to his grandma, um, and he, he and his grandma started working on canning and jarring pickles, and that's when the idea behind Randy's Pickles really came to fruition, and all of his friends, they were selling them out of his garage at first, just to friends, and then it really just kind of blew up. There's been a lot of a lot of ones that we've tried, a lot that were very successful, a lot that were not. Um, actually right now our big pickle that everybody's been asking to come back is our sideburns pickle. So sideburns is actually a grilled pickle um, and we're really excited because we're going to be bringing that back here soon but we had to really work on redoing the, the recipe because it's hard to do in a large kitchen. So this really is like a handcrafted pickle that has to be done in our smaller kitchens. And I will say we listen to our buyers, right? Whatever they tell us they like is what we're going to try next. Um, we don't want to be too out there. We want to keep our pickle you know, from the earth and make sure we have the right flavorings and keep them natural. But we definitely love listening to all the yeah. people sampling our pickles today. For TV20, this is Alex Picturna. Pickle. To learn more about the Greater Cleveland Volunteers or how you can get involved, visit greatercleveland.org.